so many emotions and, and so much energy, but just so positive. And it's been a really long time coming. And I'm just so pumped to finally share this with the world. You say a long time coming. When did the process on this actually start? So I started writing for this, I'd say about a year and a half ago, I think I wrote the first time. So it's very, it feels very cathartic that the time has finally come. Has it been hard to kind of keep a lot of these gems to yourself? Because obviously your fans, everyone wants to hear them from you and they want to know them now. What's that been like kind of keeping them and not being able to put them out until everybody gets to hear this magic today? Yeah, it kind of feels like I, I've been share, having this little secret that I, I can't share with anyone, but I have shared my close family and friends and had some really great responses. So hopefully the same is for, for the listeners. You've been doing this since you what, like 10, 11, 12? At what point though, did you realize that this wasn't just kind of like a dream? Because let's be honest, anybody when the younger is like, I'm going to be an Olympic athlete, or I'm going to be an astronaut or a musician, that this was actually going to be reality that you're doing it and that, you know, you've done this. Yeah, so I think for me, music's always just been in my, my blood and, and ingrained in me. But as I went through high school, and started just growing up and tried to navigate this whole adult experience. I started writing more and by the age of around uh, probably like 17, 18, I put out an EP and I was nominated for Western Canadian Music Award. So I think that validation really kind of pushed me into the right direction and made me not go to university and pursue this full time, which I'm, I'm grateful that I made that decision. 